Welcome to YouTube, people. I know summer's coming, so I want to do a little demonstration on fans. Because I know you people out there have to keep cool when the summer heat arrives. And I also got to tell you that old fans like this Vortilex here, this GE, were made very, very well and built to last a very, very long time. This is a Vortilex from 1951, I think. It's only on low. And there's a cloth in front of the fan so you know how powerful it is. And so you also get an idea of how powerful these old steel fans really are. And this fan was made in the United States of America, too. And this is an Emerson 29646, which are some of the best made fans around. It's got brass blades and a steel cage. This one's quite powerful, too. Ooh, very powerful for its size. <laughs> you certainly won't get no plastic fans doing this. Especially today's fans. And here's a fan that is in not so good shape. As you see, it's an it's a Holmes Airwave, painted around I'd say 2005 or 06 or something. And look at that, made in China. This fan was actually made in China. 
And of course, the end for the base broke off, so it's wobbling really bad. Won't run. That is why. Whenever you feel warm, you need to go to your local antique shop, flea market, or wherever, and get yourself a nice vintage steel blade or brass blade fan. And all you got to do is just simply teach your kids to, to not stick their fingers or any objects into the fan blades while it's on.